Mongolian Heights. Let's roll. Salami's a Delhi player, isn't he? So we're most likely against Delhi here. English. Let's do it. Is so early aggression against the Rus? Fast Castle, really no option. It seems so easy to pressure Rus here. Early aggression against Rus, Fast Castle, really no option. Like, the issue is that by the time you have like six units out, he hits Castle H. And depending on what you make, he can always adapt, right? He doesn't have to go Horse Archer. He can just switch to Knights if you're making Archers. The counter to Horse Archer is Archer. He just goes a stable then instead of Rangers, and then he goes Knights. And suddenly you need to make uh, Pikemen. It's just... It's a bunch of uh, trickle effects that can come from you trying to do something in the Feudal Age. But yeah, at the, at the same time, it's like, what other options do you have? There aren't too many options. Don't even think I need, should bother trying to make a dock. Elephant Men at Arm. Sounds like a tough combo to stop. A lot of sheep, sir. Also cast an amazing slam game where he won by 100 scouts sniping landmarks. Yeah, the landmark snipes seem to happen more frequently at the early phase of the game. Yeah, they, they still happen for sure. I won a game yesterday. I played some more games after my tournament games. There's off stream. I won a game where I just... In the end, he was probably maxed out as well. But I had to push straight through the middle and all his landmarks were there. I was Chinese, he was English, and I was able to just snipe his TC and I sent all my army just to kill his town center. And then his... Uh, Did you not dock yet? What? He's going for the mosque first and then dock, because that seems weird to me. Yeah, I was able to snipe all the landmarks and just win the game before our main armies actually fought. Big sheep delivery incoming. 13 sheep. A lot of food. What is he doing though, since he didn't dock? It's very weird. In your opinion, is AV4 more competitive than AV2 right now? Competitive, competitive how? There are more players at around the same level in AOE 4. Yes. You judge it to be more competitive in that way? Then yes it is at the moment. In general, you can probably argue that level of gameplay is higher in AOE 2. And then you can also argue that... Um, AOE 4 or AOE 2 is more competitive because it had higher price pool tournaments recently. So there's a lot of different ways to view that and argue that case. So strange, he still hasn't docked from what I can tell. Feels like we're up against some weird shit. Yeah, 
He was doing some horse man shenanigans. Probably maybe a fast castle approach from him. Something, something. He's off gold. Sort of expecting a stable. Come in from him. There it is. Is he gonna uh, exploit? Yes, multiple scouts. Trail Bora! In the upcoming AO2 tournament, or is it only AO4 and the Winter Championship? Uh, at the moment, I don't know of any AO2 tournament that is currently coming up. So, I can't say. On faith. Mass on berries. I assume he's going mass horsemen at the moment, or making a lot of horsemen. Have you seen him going professional scouts? That would be super strange, but you never know. Blacksmith just now, he's garrisoned the stable, so he's definitely producing horsemen. Would love to know how many he has, though. Or might have to do a what is 180 180 oh I cancelled my stuff way too fast oh that's bad yeah, I'm gonna lose this dog without contest That dog was a waste. I should have built an outpost there. This is super risky for me to even be out here. I'm trying to do too much at once now, which is probably gonna backfire. I'm trying to make a dock and get water at the same time. I'm trying to make a town centers, all the good stuff. And yeah, I believe this is very likely to backfire. When is King of the Archipelago? Hopefully never. Come on, give me a word. One more arrow. Hero villager. No, it was not a hero villager. I built a dock so long ago, and I still don't have any upgrades for it or any fish out. That is very sad. Probably on the way to Castle Age. Yeah, 
you want a tournament where everyone builds the first wonder is victorious? That would be interesting. Interesting that as well. You actually did professional scouts. <laughs> cool. I think he's trying to dock over here. Take your sights, nice. Or it's just walling it in. I don't know. This game is just weird all over. I, I don't understand. Like his play is just so strange. Oh, it's going for outpost. No, it was not a dock. Do I want to go for that? I'm going to do the third TC and just see what happens. I'm just I don't know what's happening in this game just like in case you're like wondering why I'm not saying much or not figuring out what's going on I have no idea what's going on Guess he's about to hit Castlage, so he's just ready to pick up that relic. If anyone wants to fill me in on what's going on, by all means. He's always all in with sacred side play. That could be what he's trying to do. But the bottom sacred side is still free. Demo, let's go. Oh, it's going down really fast though. Let me see if I can try to. Mm, he's just going for it. Probably the right decision on his end. He wants the sacred sites and have to work for them. I have to say, I, I've faced a fair bit of confusing deli play in my time. This has been the most confusing one. Yeah. 
Not even go for those bears. Stone. Gold. Just picking up the deer. I guess he's trying to fast in behind this. Making some knights now. Range, that's probably for Elephant Archer. I would imagine. I don't mind just getting rid of most of his horsemen. It's kind of fine for me. Do I can have a micro down to the tower here? Yeah, we'll probably lose them, but... Saved a few. Can you climb on? Can you climb on tower from the other side? Uh, no, you cannot. How does a? Uh, I really wonder how. Not bad, not bad, honestly. You are not healing that thing up, I tell ya. I guess we add some crossbows as well into this. Nice, many really good. I mean, they're not worse than other knights, so I guess yeah, they should they are, they should be pretty good. Pretty good unit. What? I told you guys to go there. Mixing in the spears as well. Second teaser there. Castle. Wait, oh, they cannot pass. Oh. oh that's awkward. Mm. 
Because we have to go imp. Wait to try and snipe his sacred site? Potentially, but he has a tower there. He probably has a spring gold thing in there as well. I'm not sure exactly. It's worth to focus on that. 114 villagers. Definitely think he wants this to go late game. Get the impression. Yeah, maybe we go for a sacred site. I have one relic on my side. I'm not sure if there are others. Two outposts. Uh, I think we cannot deny that. Get it! Thanks. Yes! <laughs> what you gonna do now, boy? I have the high ground. Found another relic. is on the edge. Yep, it's one of those. <clears throat> Guess we're setting up for a super late game. Reach this from here? Is that for real? What? Karak. Is it worth it to build the, the Karak? Get his imp upgrades by tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just gonna set up for super long game myself. See how it goes. 
Yeah, I want to build a Karak. See if we can uh, take out these towers with the Karak. Got the relics. I have taken whatever relics I have available to me, as I believe. All right, let's let's just let it go. Late game. Not that I can't change anything about it, but like uh, I don't mind seeing how it plays out. Karak. Yes. Getting gold now with the farms. This will be a long game, I believe. For F45 on wood. I mean, I guess I don't have wood upgrades, right? I don't even have the first wood upgrade. Shame on me. I deserve to not have wood. Okay, let's see what's here. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. I need... There's so many upgrades to get. Did you not reach there? How good, good do these do against buildings? I guess we can take that one out. Elephant! Never mind, we cannot take that one out. Just a prank. Build Wonder? It's so expensive. The issue is when you try to build a Wonder, you just... You spend 12,000 resources. Think about that number. 12,000! That's enough resources for your opponent to most likely push and kill you. That's the thing. What do we know? We know we have unlimited gold in theory and unlimited food with our farming. So we're just going to set up so that we can always make... Why is he sending his monks? I'm gonna play like Leenok played in uh, my match against him. What is going on? Arms, crossbows and elephants. Okay. I wanted to see if I could build a tower uh, gate here. <laughs> Can or bombard rather. Into the 
We have some special patience to enjoy games like this. I guess he's also Delhi. So he kind of has to do something. To uh, not die early on. Don't love that. Okay, maybe we can open this. Yeah, we should have gone double university as well. Just to get up prison. For Michi to this? That says it all, doesn't it? How did this do? Can we actually compete with the bomber? I guess the bomber outranges us. Yup. Oh, villagers. Can we blow up the wall? Yeah, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. You're blocking my cannons. Make ship. Oh yeah, true. There are range upgrades in the dock as well. True. Armor. Actually, let's do it. vision, range, movement speed. That's also an upgrade. Okay. Cool. Let's do those. Sure. Why not? What? He's actually pushing me? Yo, this was not calculated. I thought he was just gonna sit back the whole game. I just spent my demos. How do you move, dare move across? Dude, I could have had demos. Man, what, what is this? This makes no sense. Come on, demos. But I guess since uh, his arm is out of position on this side, I guess it does kind of make sense. Population capped. Wait, is he gonna go? <gasps> is he gonna go for? Don't tell me he's going for my landmarks. That would actually be amazing if he does and pulls it off. Yes, he's going for my landmarks. <laughs> Funny. Look, he doesn't care about anything else. He's targeting my landmarks. Look, next landmark. Oh, funny. Look, now he's gonna go for the next one. Oh, so he's going for that first. Oh my god, my cavalry were blocked there. Sorry! Oh, I never had that upgrade. Not gonna let it, let that happen that easy, sir. Oh, he's actually walled off his whole land as well, past the first stage. Oh. That's a sign you're in for a great game. Let's take that back. Gunpowder that okay. Oh boy, incoming. Four bombards. 
guess we could try and sneak in some uh, demos here. Oh, there is already a demo there. It's a decent army. Man, where are my demos? I just wasted all my spring rolls because I had the gather point into the fight. Is he gonna go for my landmarks again? <gasps> Wait! Wait! Landmarks! Where's my last landmark? Oh shit, you know what? He's going for landmarks again. Oh, this time it was super close. Or is super close. It's probably the right term. Wait, I need to wake up to this. These landmark snipes. <laughs> Basically, his whole game plan about sniping my landmarks. I still have two landmarks left. I should be fine. But it's still really cool or interesting. Interesting approach, rather. Boom! Of course. We're safe, right? Yeah, this one is also up. 103 bills, that's still fine. Wasn't this one up? I was chilling because this one was up. Or was I just repairing it? <laughs> Wait, what? I thought that one was up. Wait, I'm gonna have to check the replay there. They have to be repaired to full HP. They look up when they're not full yet. Wait, that one wasn't up? I was super relaxed about the situation because I was like, he has to take the TC, that one, and that building. Ah, oh, okay. Then that's something you definitely have to be aware of. I think he was dead after that push if he didn't kill me. Because I think he spent way too many resources there. Population was also very low after that. We're safe, right? <laughs> 10 seconds before disaster. Oh, I have to wait to go through. Let's see. Yeah, like to me that one, I thought that one was up. But I guess he did destroy that one first. So this is how he plays it. He just drags it out to late game and then he goes with his big pushes and go for landmark snipes. I don't think that's a play that should ever work. But obviously he... Obviously it can. Need full HP. So unless the, unless the landmark is full HP, it doesn't count. That makes sense, but I thought this one was full HP. Man, I was chilling. I was like, yeah, this is fine. Doesn't matter. I know the character can also spin Kevin. But I didn't really have uh, times where it made sense to micro the character. So he did, uh, he ignored water with Deli, which is super weird. This went for Horseman, Bubble Blacksmith. If I mix in some spears here, I can probably put some pressure in this range if I wanted to. My early buildup was really bad as well, because the dock shenanigans was just very strange. This is what, 37 bills, we have 46. 10 economy units ahead, we have 3 TCs. He's on 1 TC. 
We got a sacred site, but that doesn't really impact the game. Hundred pop to sixty-seven. That's what happened in the show match. Viper and Dot was here on the Mister. Oh yeah, true. But that was a. I think it was very different there. That was obvious that the landmark snipe was gonna kill me. I don't think, like I said, I don't think landmark snipes should work in theory. But yeah, true. You have to be a little bit careful where you place them. Council hole forward. This one kind of forward, and the last one was there. So he has 86 population, we have 150, we're doubling his population. But there's no way for us to really end the game early. I guess trying to just put more pressure early on would have been the play. Right now he has 100 pop, 66 villagers, there's not a lot of economy. So if I just idle everything, go up, make a few cannons, I can apply pressure very early. And then it should take... It should be very hard for him to hold early pressure. But then again, he has the walls to buy a lot of time. I think normally I would be more aggressive to not get to this stage. Resources floating so much. What we did this game was pretty much we sat down and we just did all the Imperial Age upgrades. And... Uh, should have used demos more. Yeah, but I didn't expect these pushes he did. I did not expect them to come. Uh, what did I want to say? Yeah, just make two or three cannons and then start pushing. Instead of doing all upgrades and slowly wait for late game. So now it should be a maxed out situation. He's approaching maxed out as well. Floating a ton of resources is he as well. So we have one landmark there, one landmark there, there, and there. I guess in this case as well, the uh, this upgrade is very nice. Oh, it's actually gold and stone. I didn't know that. So everything is food and gold. No, this one is wood and gold. And this one is gold and stone. Interesting. Yeah, this was the first time you met one for the push. It's actually floating a ton of resources. So maybe I was wrong. Yeah, we had two landmarks alive still here. But we have over 10,000 food. <laughs> and that generates gold as well. So after that initial push, he just went... How many, bomb, how many siege workshops does he have? I can't even see a single siege workshop. Am I blind? He has two. One of them are garrisoned. What's the hotkey for select all buildings? There we go. He only has two zebra shops. He was doing cannons. He has eight ca bombards now. You take ten bombers, you could flatten the whole base. I think that's his whole plan, right? He has elephants to tank. They will tank a lot of damage. And then the cannons are the behind the enemy, like behind them, just sniping all the buildings. The issue for me as well is I have I have what I have. I have 30 population here. I have 60 population here that isn't doing anything. Again, I, I think this is not a play that should ever work. But yeah, okay. But look how fast they go down. It's actually crazy. You have to be careful where you place landmarks. We repaired our town center, we repaired our council hall. But it goes down super fast. One shot does like 600 damage. 450 damage. So here I was like, yeah, we're just chilling. Everything is fine. We have enough units. He is floating resources, but he's kind of running low on gold a little bit. I'm not sure if he would have had the resources to reproduce, but then again, I'm, I'm kind of spending everything as well. 
The elephants are still alive. Holy cow. Okay, this is where I got chebated. So I took an overview here and I was like, on a quick glance. I was like, okay, TC, I'm repairing TC. This one is up and this one. Yeah, this is where I looked and I thought this one was up. But if that is not fully repaired, it counts as if it's d destroyed. Everything is fine, Copium. What does he have left here now? Like, all he has is three elephants. One spearman and four lancers. Two war elephants, three tower elephants. And they won the game. Man, I was chilling. Like, TC is doing fine. The castle palace is up. <laughs> and then... Oh... Oops! Yeah, it's, it's a nice strategy considering that the elephants are so tanky, right? But yeah, again, like, I think this is something that happens once in your life, and it never happens again. At a certain level. Like, if I lose to this strategy one more time the rest of my life, then I suck. <laughs>